want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Well, this is the moment a gunman opened fire during a Trump rally. Two people are dead, including the suspected gunman, plus two others are in critical condition. Officials telling ABC News this is being investigated as an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Now, this was the scene after everyone was evacuated from that rally. And new this morning, the alleged gunman is identified as 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. ABC's Perry Rossum has those details. This morning, the FBI is naming the suspected shooter as Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20 years old from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, south of Pittsburgh. The FBI saying this remains an active and ongoing investigation. Overnight, former President Trump arriving in New Jersey, walking down the stairs of his plane, hours after what the FBI is calling an assassination attempt at his campaign rally in Pennsylvania. Look what happened. Oh. New video shows the Secret Service reacting to the shooting on top of that white roof. A law enforcement source tells ABC News the shooter is believed to be a lone wolf. We do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News the shooter fired as many as eight rounds using an AR-style rifle from a rooftop. This video from above shows what's believed to be the suspected gunman, according to a law enforcement official briefed on the investigation. That rooftop is about 400 feet from the stage. The shooting happening minutes into a rally in Butler County, Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh. Trump releasing a statement that reads in part, it is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. One spectator was killed, two others injured. Pennsylvania State Police say the shots fired were scattered with the injured and dead spread throughout the crowd. Perry Russell, ABC News, Milwaukee. Now, a Louisville man knows the Secret Service pretty well. Greg Gitshire served with them for more than two decades. WHAS 11's Alex Dieterer talked to him about the assassination attempt and how things could have ended a lot different. The Secret Service is going to go over this with a fine tooth comb, magnifying glass, and figure out what, what happened and how did it happen and who did something wrong or maybe something was overlooked. I'm not saying Secret Service did anything wrong. I have no idea. But somehow that gun got in there and, and shot, right? Retired that Secret Service agent with over 21 years of service, Greg Gitcher of Louisville, shared his expertise. On the first assassination attempt our country has seen since Ronald Reagan was shot in 1981. And they got him on the ground. They surrounded him with their bodies, right? For anything else, remember, there could be an ambush at a second location. And they got him in the vehicle, even though he's fist pumping. I'm sure his adrenaline was pump pumping, you know. He almost got killed. So his adrenaline's got to be going crazy, but they're trying to get him into that armored limousine as quick as they can. And now, a former president with an ear covered in blood after shots rang out at a Pennsylvania rally. If it was a bullet that was close enough to pierce, uh, clip his ear, that would have meant that he probably had his head turned, and if his head turned a different way, it could have been a different outcome. The shooter was confirmed to have fired shots from a nearby rooftop, something Gitcher said could have been a blind spot for the agents. It could have been something as simple as they were on the other side of that roof over there and where the guys were looking, they couldn't see him because he was just over the ridge, you know, and then he just came around for a second and fired. I'm not making excuses, but they normally wouldn't miss a, a, a person with a gun on a roof across from them. Alex Dieterer, WHAS 11 on your side. Now, Gitcher told us he's proud of the Secret Service agents. The FBI says it's leading the investigation into the incident and will work with the Secret Service plus local and state law enforcement. And Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg posted on X, formerly Twitter, saying, quote, violence has no place in politics, period. Rachel and I know this pain all too well and will be praying for everyone impacted, end quote. You remember back in February of 2022, Greenberg was also the target of an assassination attempt while running for mayor. Federal authorities say Quintus Brown went to his Butchertown campaign office and fired six shots at him. 
He missed, but bullets did graze Greenberg's sweater. And as we continue to learn more about the former president's assassination attempt, we will update you on air and the free WHAS 11 app. You can find it, download it in your phone's app store. Well, new this morning, two people are injured, including a 10 year old after a double shooting in East Louisville. Now, according to LMPD, officers were called to a shooting near a pool in the 12,600 block of Saxony Park Circle around 645 last night. This is near Taylorsville Road. While officers were responding, the 10 year old and a family member flagged down EMS and were taken to the hospital. LMPD says the juvenile was grazed. A man was found at the scene and taken to the hospital as well. Both victims are said to have non life threatening injuries. Detectives are investigating the relationship of the two plus what led to the shooting and that motive. And anyone with information is asked to call the anonymous tip line at 574 LMPD. Don't forget you can also use the online portal.